everybody, Sierra Media Gal here. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to do a April monthly favorites. Even though I'm just starting out, um, these are one of many kind of videos that I would like to make in the future and also the kind of video that I like to watch. So I hope you'll enjoy it too. And let's just get right into what I have been enjoying for April. So I'm gonna start out with the Beauty and Bath. NYX is um, Soft Matte Lip Cream um, lipsticks. This is a three pack that I got at TJ Maxx for $4.79, which I consider a bargain because normally um, just a standard NYX um, lip cream is usually at like Target, it's like a little over six bucks. So if you can find them at uh, places like Marshall's or TJ Maxx, um, you can probably get a three pack like this for even less. I've been trying a lot of their products lately and I really, really like these. They don't dry out my lips, they feel great. So yeah, I definitely recommend these. The second lipstick that I've really been enjoying the past month is Black Moon Cosmetics uh, Harvest Lipstick. Looks like this. This was actually on sale beginning of April. I'm not sure if it's still on sale or not, but this actually came out last autumn. I'm wearing it right now. And I love Black Moon Cosmetics lipsticks. They're a little bit pricier, at least for me as far as lipsticks go. Um, I believe this was on sale for maybe 16 and they normally run anywhere from 18 to $20. I love the shade. It reminds me, of course, of autumn, which is my absolute favorite time of year. I live for autumn. But I feel like this is also a shade you can still wear in the summer months. It kind of a peachy, orangish, red kind of color. These also dry to a matte finish. They don't dry my lips out at all, and they feel pretty moisturizing actually. So um, I really recommend Black Moon Cosmetics. You should check them out. And I'm wearing it, as you can see, and I love it. Last for the beauty slash bath portion of this video. I hope I'm saying this right. Sophia Aptress. I apologize if I completely butchered that. I came across her on Instagram. I don't even remember how. She makes clothing and leggings and capes and she also does bath products. I saw on her Instagram, she was selling these cauldron bath bombs. They absolutely also reminded me of Severus Snape and potions and Harry Potter, so I just had to pick them up. And they smell amazing. The green pink um, cauldron, it's called Blackberry Bramble Tea. It smells incredible. I actually haven't used them yet, but I'm putting them in my favorites because I know I'm gonna absolutely love them once I use them. The second one I got is the Purple Gray Cauldron, and this is Lavender Sage. Oh, they smell absolutely amazing. I'm definitely gonna buy more of her bath products. I did just check their website, and it appears that they're out of these now. These have already sold out. I don't know if they'll come back in stock or not. She's a small designer brand, and I know she comes out with different bath products every couple months. So I don't know if there'll be more of these or not, but um, her bath products are definitely worth checking out. I'm gonna be trying out more for sure because they just smell incredible. And these I believe were $5 each. So really not bad for the amount of product that you get too. Moving on to uh, fashion and clothing. I only have one item for the past month that I was really enjoying while it was kind of fluctuating between super cold and crazy hot on the super colder days in April. I've been enjoying this maroon jumper from Charlotte Russe. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this. I never buy things from Charlotte Russe and uh, I just happened to stumble on their website for whatever reason. I was looking for a jumper and this was on there for um, $10 I think. It might have even been $8. I, I can't remember. But it's just this beautiful maroon velvet with gold detailing and gold zippers and then it's got two pockets down here with plenty of room to put like your phone in or whatever I've been really enjoying that but now of course it's um, 90 degrees outside so I guess I won't be using this again till next autumn as far as um, homeware I'll insert um, a closer look at it but it is this Bath and Body Works candle it's the peach Bellalini fragrance I actually got this for free on Bath & Body Works website, they were running a special. Their three wick candles were $12.50 each, and you got a free 
beach Bellini candle with it. I bought the watermelon candle thinking I would keep that and then I would give this one as a gift to somebody else. And I actually really like the peach. So I'm actually keeping that and giving the other one away. Free candle. I mean, that's perfect. So I just started burning this one, but I'm really, really enjoying it. Next, I always am probably going to include a Harry Potter item in any favorites because I am obsessed with Harry Potter. Yes, I'm a full grown adult, but I will never grow out of loving Harry Potter. It's always gonna be a huge factor in my life. I just love it so much. When I was at TJ Maxx this past month, I happened across this adorable um, Poly Juice Potion Cauldron Mug and I just had to pick it up. At the bottom here, uh, from the Apothecary of Horus Lockhorn. We'll just ignore that. Cause this made me think of Snape, so that's why I bought it. Low key in love. But yeah, it just has this um, beautiful red on the inside, black on the outside with this beautiful little um, Poly Juice Potion detailing that I really love. I haven't actually used this as an actual mug. It's nice and big at the top, so like it shouldn't be an issue as far as drinking out of it. I think I'm actually gonna use this more as decor. I just absolutely am loving that. Last but not least for the month of April, I've really been enjoying, and probably this is my favorite thing from April, is my first, hopefully of many, uh, tattoo that I got. This is my little tattoo that I got on April 21st and it says I love you more. For anybody who may be familiar with my fan fiction and my writing you'll know what that is in reference to. Obviously it's not the most um, unique tattoo out there. I'm well aware of that but I love it. I love the font. Um, it took me forever to find a font that I really liked but I really love this and it was done in less than five minutes. Didn't hurt at all and uh, cannot wait to get my future tattoos. I've waited far too long to start my tattoo journey, so I'm looking forward to taking you guys along for that as well. Um, so yeah, that is my beautiful little script tattoo, and I am absolutely loving it. Okay, everybody, so that is it for my monthly favorites. I'm sorry that it's not a lot. Hopefully I'll have more um, next month if I continue this as long as other people are hopefully enjoying it I will continue making them leave a comment down below and let me know what um, Your favorites for April have been and if there was anything in here that you really enjoyed as well, and I will talk to you guys soon Bye Mwah.